All right, Mark, big game coming up. Uh, how's everybody uh, holding up? Yeah, good. Um, obviously, uh, you know, the trip to Wellington is can be a tough one. Um, we've had a, had a good recovery session yesterday, got all the cobwebs out, and this day was nice and sharp. How much has that six-day turnaround um, sort of, or how much impact will that have on coming into Friday night? Oh, I, don't, I don't think it'll have too much impact on us at all. Um, you know, it's what you, you want to be doing, you want to be playing games uh, close together. To the old, um, I'd much rather be playing Friday. Uh, the closer the games, the better, I think. Um, as I say, everyone's in a good condition, everyone that's, um, that's been travelling and playing is, is fit. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I don't think it's a problem at all. Mark, if we go back to the start of the season, I think you lost your first couple under a new coach and expectations were pretty low. Everyone thought, you know, this is just going to be a transition year. Can you sort of barely believe that you're on the cusp of playing your first final here this weekend? Uh, yeah, I, I don't think expectations within our camp were, were low at all. Um, yeah, it was a bit of a transition year in the sense that, um, you know, new new coaching staff, some new players and whatnot, but, uh, you know, the players that that came in, uh, you know, were all, were all quality players with um, high expectations on them. Uh, obviously, things are always tough when you put together a new team, but, uh, you know, we always expected to be in and around the finals. So um, to be playing this, this weekend isn't isn't a massive surprise for us. Uh, you know, we just want to make sure that we do the right things now and, um, well, there's no second chances anymore. And how do you match up against Perth Glory? Where do you draw confidence from? I think, again, this week is going to be against about us more than anything. I think the last game when we played them at home, both sides had had some players missing, uh, you know, so things are obviously always done a little bit slightly different when um, when there's players out and, and whatnot. So, you know, the, the game style that we're going to play this weekend is obviously very, very similar and, uh, you know, we're, we're really focusing on ourselves. We're aware of their, their strengths. But, again, I think if we, uh, if we make it about ourselves and we do the things that we're taught and we do them correctly, then um, then we're a really good shout. Millsy, what sort of form do you think you guys are in coming into it? Obviously you've got a win at the weekend, but I think it's two wins out of the last eight or something like that. What, what sort of form do you guys see yourself in? Uh, I think I think we're in uh, we're in decent form. I mean, um, you know, there's been a lot of interruptions over the sort of the last round for us. Uh, you know, we've had some, some some more pretty serious injuries and we've uh, we've blooded a lot of young boys. Um, you know, which is which is good coming into the final. You know, there's going to be a, a few of them again starting this weekend. So, uh, you know, we, we got them in, in in big games during the regular season. So, um, you know, they they know what to they'll know what to expect coming into the weekend. Uh, yeah, I, don't, I think obviously the results maybe haven't been outstanding for us in the last sort of four or five weeks. But again, we draw a lot of confidence out of the win on the weekend. Um, yeah, so I, I think we're all we're all confident and uh, we're ready to go. You you didn't play against the Glory a couple of weeks ago when they came here and upset you guys. I mean, obviously it's a far different team with you and Marco and Archie back in. Yeah, as I said, but they're they're a different team as well. Obviously, we've got to wait and see if Smeltz comes back. He was away for the last one and Thwaiti as well. Uh, Burnsy was suspended, so you know there there's possibly could be a lot of changes to to this weekend's game. Uh, you know, I think they showed last year as well, you know, come finals time, you know, they can step up the intensity. Uh, hopefully, you know, this is sort of what we've been preparing for, that, that uh, extra step up in intensity all year. And, you know, I guess fortunately for us, you know, uh, every, every week we, we try and play at that, that intensity. So hopefully things aren't too different for, for the way we, that we do things. And, um, you know, we, we're hoping that, uh, you know, expectations on us um, uh, go, the, go the way that we plan. I haven't looked at your schedule ahead for you personally, but will you make yourself available for this clash? Where does it sit in between qualifiers and all of that? For, for the Liverpool clash? The Liverpool clash? Yeah, well, that's obviously, um, you know, this is my club, and if, if we're around and available, then, you know, definitely. It's in our pre-season, which is a very important time for us. Um, and as I say, it, it's it's a massive coup for the for the club to get them out, and, um, yeah, it's very exciting. We're just uh, we're just ready for the for this week and the preseason. Hopefully, it's still a couple couple weeks away for us. Is, is that announcement today or coming out in the press? Is that a bit of a distraction for the side heading into this uh, crucial final? Uh, no, I don't think so. As I say, we're still very very focused on what we're doing. Um, you know, first and foremost, today's training. Uh, you know, everyone's always very very attentive um, and working very hard. So. 
as I say, it's a massive thing for the club, but uh, you know, hopefully we've still got three or four weeks before we have to worry about what's happening in the pre-season. It shapes a fascinating pre-season for you, because you can probably play in the All-Stars game, then you're back up in this, and then there's the East Asian Cup as well, so you'd be playing a lot of matches in the pre-season if that were to happen. Yeah, yeah if that, that, that were to happen, but that's pretty standard for, for that time of year. There's generally, I think the last three or four years, um, you know, there's been something on in the off-season, so... Yeah, just uh, yeah, have to wait and see. But it's a question of um, with so many things coming up, and time off, and, and what to do with it. So whether you keep on going, uh, we, as I say, we'll just wait and see. We'll, we'll get through these next few weeks first, mate, and then uh, and then we'll we'll attack it from there.